Excel spreadsheets that you receive from other people are often not in the format that you require, and I'll show you how to work around this challenge. You can easily combine data from multiple cells and place that data into one cell using the Excel concatenate feature. You can also add additional text when concatenating. I'll explain how to use this feature for great results. Here's a spreadsheet with the first and last names in separate columns. Go ahead and put your cursor in the destination cell, which is C2. Type the equal symbol, which signals to Excel you're entering a formula. Go ahead and type A2, which is the cell number for the first name. And then use the ampersand, which is Shift 7 on your keyboard, which tells Excel you're going to be concatenating. Now, text and spaces need to be enclosed in quotes, and we'll put a space between the first and last name. And we'll need to go ahead and type quote. We'll put a space and then we'll go ahead and type another quote. Now we'll go ahead and type ampersand and then B2, which is the cell for the last name field. Press enter. Now the full name appears with the proper space between the first and last name. You can concatenate any text you want and everything you concatenate that's text must have quotes around it. Let's go ahead and copy down the formula. We'll select the cell where we have our formula for concatenation and then click copy and then use your mouse left click and drag down to all the cells you want to copy to and then press on the paste button and you'll see that it beautifully fills in all the data correctly first and last name. Now let's try something else. Here's a spreadsheet with names and addresses. We'll concatenate the data plus add line breaks to construct an address block like you'd see on an envelope. Let me go ahead and do that for you. First we'll go ahead and click on the cell G2 and then I'll type equals and then let's put the first name and last name together. That's A2 and ampersand then quote and then space and then close quote and ampersand again and then B2. That goes ahead and puts the first and last name together. Now what we want to do is add a line break. The line break is represented with the following. I'll put the ampersand and then to create a line break we need to type this set of characters. We put char open parentheses the number 10 and then close parentheses which tells Excel to make a line break. Then let's go ahead and put ampersand and then we'll finish up putting the address block together. I'm going to put a comma between the city and the state and then a space between the state and the zip code. Then press enter. Now in order for the line break to work you'll need to enable the wrap text function for the column. Let me show you how to do that. First let's select the entire column and then click on the wrap text feature which is this button right here. Now I'm going to resize the row so you can see the address block. And there it is. And you're done. I hope you've benefited from today's gift. If you found this video useful, please feel free to share it with family, friends, and colleagues. Bye for now.